That's right, Afo. Afo Hasharatim, right? Where are the bathrooms? Yeah. It's a great thing to know in <laughs> Israel. It's hard to say that. Uh, how about students or disciples? Talmudim. Talmudim. Hebrew in Hebrew? Hebrew. Hebrew. Okay. In Hebrew? Be Hebrew. Be Hebrew. Okay. And make sure you pronounce your syllables. Be Hebrew. So you have to celebrate, ce uh, ce uh, not celebrate. Well, you can celebrate it too, but separate the sounds. Be Hebrew. So when you have those sounds, you don't want to say Be Hebrew. You want to say Be Hebrew. So it, it's clear what you're saying. Okay. This or this is masculine. Ze. Ze. How would I say feminine? Zo. Zo. Very good. Tov melot. And wall is? Um, kir. Kir. Okay. Classroom? Kita. Kita. All right. We have one person doing all the answering. Come on, Patricia. You're, get, you're getting lost in the mix. All right. So, what is room? Room by itself? Cheder. Cheder. It, the accent on the first, first syllable, not the second. Okay, cheder. Classroom is kita. kita. Accent on the second syllable. Okay, book. Sefer. On. This shows up in our Hebrew in our Torah portion today. Al. Al is, and remember that it's the a sound, so it's al al for uh, the word on. And if I want to say table, how do I say table in Hebrew? Shulchan. Shulchan. How do I say on the table? Al Shulchan. Actually, Al Chas Shulchan, which is on the table, because you just said on a table, right? How do I say chair? Kise. Kise. Okay. Yes. Ken. Ken. Board or blackboard or whiteboard would be luach. 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 And masculine form for he writes or you write. Kotev. So I could say anikotev, ukotev, atakotev, anything masculine and singular. How would I say it for feminine? Kotevet. Kotevet. So um, a woman would say anikotevet, I could say he kotevet, she is writing, or I could say at kotevet, that uh, you, feminine, you are writing, okay, to, for a woman, okay? So that's a review of our vocabulary. Let's take a look at page three of, of the handout from last week, or if you got it, you'll see it's page three on the singular portion that I printed that we printed today. And the grammar, Hebrew word for grammar is dikduk. Can you say dikduk? Dikduk. Dik -duk. So think like a duke and a duchess, but instead of saying duke first, you have to say dik dik duke. Okay, dik duke. That's the Hebrew word for grammar. Okay. All right, so we have the conjugation of Omer. Can you say Omer? Omer. Now, that's not the same as Omer, because Omer is the portion that's set aside after Passover that is brought as first fruits of the barley harvest, the counting of the Omer. This is the word Omer. This is a conjugated verb, okay? So, um, then we have the word for singular, like echad, one, we have yachid. It's from the same root, okay? And we have in masculine and feminine on the chart, starting with the masculine on the right, the masculine word is, uh, for, for masculine is zahar. Zahar, which means male or masculine. And then we have nekava. Nekava is feminine in Hebrew. Okay? So we have here for this conjugation of Omer, we have Dan Omer Shalom. What does that mean? Dan says, says, says hello, which is the same word as peace. Dan says hello. Dan Omer Shalom. Okay? Um, now, how would I say Sarah says hello? Sarah Omeret Shalom Omeret. So whenever you have the ET ending at the end of a masculine singular conjugation of a verb, like Omer, instead of putting the accent on the third syllable, you're going to put it on the second to the last syllable. So it's not going to be Omeret, it's Omeret, Omeret. The, set, the accent will be on that second to the last syllable. Okay? Omeret. 
And that's going to have work with all of the verb conjugations for singular and for feminine, um, where you add the ET at the end. Once, so we have Omer for a man, and we have Omeritz for a woman. Okay? Does anybody remember how to say it in masculine plural? To say. Instead of Omer, it's Omrim. And then Omrot for feminine. So let's take a look at the word for plural. Okay, we have um, Ribui, um, which is plural. And so we're going to now say Hatalmidim Omrim Shalom. What did I just say? The students say shalom. That's masculine and plural. Omrim. So notice we lose a vowel. Instead of omerim, it's omrim. The shiva underneath the mem is, uh, creates a glottal stop and creates two syllables, om, O-M, and then the, the, the resh, the yud, and the mem sofit will create rim. Anytime you see hirik, yud, mem sofit at the end, or the I-M in Hebrew, im, that ending is masculine singular, okay? Or excuse me, masculine plural. And then if you see the um, omrot at the, uh, if, you, if you hear ot at the end, or see it spelled O-T at the end, that is mas uh, feminine plural, okay? So how would I, again, how would I say, the students say hello, masculine? Say it together. Shalom. Okay, Omrim Shalom. And let's say it for female students. Okay, say it together. Shalom. Omrot Shalom. Very good. Okay. So notice. A verb agrees with its subject in number and in gender. Note the ending of each verb. In the feminine singular, we have the segol tav, which is um, omeret, omeret, okay? And then it says b. In the masculine pearl, we have the hirik yud mem sofit, which would make omro, excuse me, omrim. And then c, we have in masculine plural, oh, that is a typo. Yeah. It's one of those titles. That should say feminine plural. We have the um, the holam tag, and that would make om rot. So just change that to feminine there. I'll fix that before it gets put online. Okay. So that's the first part of our grammar. Now let's look at word order on page four. And we learn that shalom means. Hello, goodbye, peace. Hello, goodbye, or peace, but it's also used for saying, how are you? So here we have, in the masculine form, in the masculine form we have, Maslumcha, 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 as a question. So you make it as a question, Maslumcha. So can someone turn to a male student and ask them, Maslumcha? And let them ask them. Let them answer. What would they answer? Beseder. You could say, okay, beseder. Everything's in order. Everything's good. It's okay. Or you could say, tol. Or if you want to be real polite, you say, tol toda. Good. Thank you. Or you could say, tol me old toda. Very good. Thank you. Okay. So you just choose how you want to answer. In this case, the person said, beseder omerhat talmin. So it says, fine, says the student, or okay, or in order, says the student. All those words are applicable. So um, we have, Masum Ha, Sho'el um, uh, are how are you, says the teacher. And notice it's Hamore, which is masculine, versus Hamora, which would be feminine. I studied under a Mora, I'm sorry, Ben Or, from Haifa, Israel. Um, and as a female teacher, she made sure we knew that we'd always say mora to her and not more. Sometimes we would forget and say more. She says, don't call me a man. I'm a female, so I'm a female teacher. Okay? Um, and so we see in Hebrew, the verb often precedes the noun. The verb often precedes the noun. That you, can say, you would say the verb and then have the noun. Okay? Roman numeral two, adjective. We also uh, have a certain order, word order for adjectives. So to say a nice book, we will say sefer 
Um, actually, once again, um, I didn't catch this, but I want you to draw a line between the two dots under the first letter, from right to left. See the two dots? Draw a line, because it should be one flat line. You're going to put correct my, my uh, word there. I have the wrong vowel mark underneath. There. I guess it was a vocabulary from lesson two. It should be... Sefer, Yafe. Yafe. So you're going to put. Oh, no, 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 no. You know what? No, I'm looking at the wrong word. No. I have it correct. I have it correct. I stand corrected that I am correct. All right. A nice book is Sefer Yafe, which Yafe is the. Yud. I was looking at the wrong thing and my eyes were thinking backwards. <laughs> I was thinking in English instead of Hebrew. Sefer, which is um, the Samet Fe Reish. And then the adjective is yud fe he, and so we have sefer yafe. Okay, so we have a nice book, literally a beautiful book, but it, we would say a nice book. Okay, um, and so we have here a masculine noun, um, and we have a masculine adjective. Okay, so here we have the word um, for pin, which is et. And then we have the adjective for good, which is toe. toe. So if I say et toe, I'm saying a good pen. How would I say the good pen? Ha et, ha et toe. toe. Actually, it's et ha toe. Okay. Because it's like roch ha kodesh. You put the definite article in front of the adjective. Because it is what um, defines the noun. So the ha, or the, definite article, further defines the noun. So it's et ha tov. Mm -hmm. Now, sometimes you would see ha et ha tov, which is even further clarifying the definiteness, but it would be just as correct to just say et ha tov. Okay, the good pen. Okay? The adjective in Hebrew follows the noun. And again, that example was like Ruach, which is spirit, HaKodesh, the Holy. So spirit that is the Holy Spirit. Right? So the, the definer is after, or the adjective is after. Okay? Any questions on that, how that works? Okay? Um, oh, you know what? I just realized I reviewed Lesson 2's vocabulary. I need to borrow someone's lesson three vocabulary. This, I, I apologize for that. For those that don't have either in front of you, you didn't notice. Okay, so let's uh, let's actually go over our vocabulary list at, um, that we learned last week, which would be Omer. What does that mean? Just say. Just say. Say. Masculine singular. So it's either you say, he say, or um, or I say. So a man would say, Ani Omer. I could say, Hu Omer. He says, I can also say, Ata Omer. You say. Okay? How about Omrim? What would I put in front of Omrim? Barbara, your favorite word for we? Anachnu. Okay? And so we have Anachnu Omrim. We are saying. Or we could say, Talmidim Omrim, students say, they like the class. <laughs> <laughs> and then we have Aleph Lamed, which normally would be God if it was a Seirei underneath, two dots side by side. In this case, we have three dots in a downward triangle, the Segol, and that spells El okay. also, um, but it's not referring to God, but it's to El, okay? So it's a quicker E sound, L, versus L, which is God. More clarification on the name God, okay? Then we have the, the, the name David, which is David. David, or who is David. We have English as Anglit. Anglit. So Hebrew is Ivrit, and English is Anglit. Spanish is Sephardit, as Sephardim are Spanish Jews, right? So, Sephardit or 
Anglais, Ivrit, you hear eat at the end of each language. Eat just is, it's a personal uh, possession of the person who speaks the language. It's his language. Mm -hmm. So Ivrit means the language of Ivr, mm -hmm. which is in, pronounced in Hebrew, Ever. And then Ivrit is his language. Okay? Mm -hmm. So we have um, Yafe and Yafa. Yafe and Yafa. Why do I have the different timings on those? Mm -hmm. We have, well, masculine is the yafe, and notice the long vowel, the long a ah under the yud, and the short e, or medium length e, under the letter fe. But yafa are two long vowels, just like Torah are two long vowels, a long o and a long a, ah, Torah. Sarah is also two long vowels, Sarah. If it was two medium vowels, vowels, it would be sad. So we learned, and I was able to clarify this, is that whenever you have two medium vowels, the first syllable sounds like it gets the accent. On two long vowels, the last syllable gets the accent. So sara versus sara. Okay? So we have yafa, which is feminine, and yafe, which is masculine. Um, it rings is Metzatzel. Metzatzel is ring, and how do you say a, a, a bell? Pa'amon. Pa'amon, very good. Very good. So if I say pa'amon metzatzel? The bell, or a bell rings. A bell, very good. Told me on a bell rings. Ha pa'amon metzatzel? The bell rings. The bell rings. They're very good. How do you say pin again? Et. Et. Very good. Um, to see, for man is? Ro'e. Um, similar to Adonai Yir A. Right? Adonai will see. We say the Lord our provider, but really it's the Lord who sees what we need and sees to it. Right? And then a woman would say Ro'ah. So, Hatalmida, Ro'ah, Hashulchan, Bakita. What did I just say? Let me say it again. see a table in the classroom? Say it again. The students see a table in the classroom? Very good, told me. Oh, excellent. What kind of student? Male or female? Female. <laughs> female, very good. So I said, Hatamida, uh, Ra'a. Actually, because we have a definite article, I have to say, Et, Hashulchan Bakita. I have to say, Et, which is the Aleph Tav, which is a direct object indicator in between a definite, a verb and a definite noun. So, we will see et um, between a, a verb and a definite noun. If it's not a definite noun, you don't have to put it. So, when we say to love the Lord your God, God is definite, right? Ve'ahavta mm -hmm. et Adonai. So, in between the verb ve'ahavta, which means and you shall love, and Adonai, who is definite, we have to put et. If there's not a definite article, you never have to use this. That's why you have to use it for I love you. Or at least a form of this. <coughs> okay. Like otcha or otach is a form what? of et. It goes between the verb and the definite article. Or definite, um, definite, um, uh, um, a definite object. So it's a direct object indicator. If it's a direct object, or better said, between the verb and the direct object. So, if you use a verb and you're talking about something that is a direct object, like ha luach or ha shulchan, the board or the table or ha kir, the wall, right? If I say aniro aniro e et ha kir, I see the wall. If it's the wall, I have to use et because I have to indicate in my words that I'm talking about something definite, not generic. If I said, um, ani ro'e kir, I see a wall. I don't have to use et. I only use et as a direct object indicator, indicating the next thing coming in the sentence is direct, is a direct object. Mm. It has a definite article, or it's a definite name, like David, right? So I would say, ani ro'e et David. Because he's definite. Yeah, Aniro a et ha um Adonai. I see the Lord. 
I see the Lord seated on the mountain. Okay, so, um, let's start off this one. All right, so then we have only is rock. Rock. Almost sound like you're saying R O C K, rock. But it's R A K, rock, only. Um, and then we have Shlomo, which Shlomo. is Solomon. We have the word for picture, Tmuna. It looks like Temuna, but it's got to be quit. Tmu, Tmuna. Tmuna. Very good. And Shoel is ass. ass. Okay. So um, let's go ahead. What was that now? Oh, I skipped. No. The word for no is what? No. Lo. Lo. Kin is yes. 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 Lo is no. no. Lo tirza, lo tiv no, all those uh, prohibitions, right? It would start with the letter with the word no in front of it. Okay, so what else can we review? Did you guys do any homework? In fact, I do have someone's, like I have someone's homework right here. I have Nadiva. I have Nadiva's homework. And we had a Hebrew lesson of the teacher and student, Moray Vitamit. And, um, and this is from lesson two. So if you, two weeks ago, if you were here and you had lesson two, Sheir Shini, the vocabulary of Lesson Milon, where we had Kita and Cheder and Sefer and Bacheder, all those words I reviewed for you first before we reviewed this one. We have Hamare Bacheder. teacher is in the room. So if I were to translate this, I have the teacher. Now, we don't have a verb here in this, in this statement. There's no verb, right? Because there is no verb to be present tense. So we're not going to have is. In Spanish, you would say that, right? You would, uh, you would have two verbs to be. You would have estar and ser. Or depending on whether it's permanent um, uh, uh, condition or if it's an emotion that's temporary, you would use either one of those verbs. Um, yo soy Brian, right? Um, but yo estoy, um, um, I'm going to say in, the, in Spanish, the synagogue, um, in uh, la synagoga, is what you'd actually end up saying. Okay? So I would use one of those two verbs to be. In Hebrew, it is understood. Okay? So then we have a cheder, which is in the room. If I want to be more specific, I would have said kita. In the classroom. In the classroom. So that would be classroom. All right, so <clears throat> the second part of it is Hatamidim Bacheder, which would be what? Oh, you're right. I put that, and it should be Ba. Very good. So, Mil, you caught that. I, I did my vowels really fast, so I didn't. I wasn't paying attention to what I was saying there, because that would just be um, in class. So you put the, the teachers in the, the teachers in class. But it's more specific that he's in the classroom, like a specific classroom. Like if I just want to say he's busy right now, he's in class. I'm not telling you which class. So what I did by, what I did by changing from bed to ba, I made it from a general statement of he's in class to he's in the class. So, or he's in the room, meaning a specific room that's his room, versus he could be anywhere on campus in class right now, don't bug him. So Question. then the difference between in a class and in, or, uh, in a room as opposed to in the room would be the difference between a 
Petucha and a comment? Well, Patach, or uh, no, it, it, Patach is used here for Ba because normally we would say Ha for the, and we would have Be. So we contract them and take the vowel from here and lose the He and move the vowel over here and make it Ba. That's a contraction. So that makes it in the. So this, this vowel is the vowel from ha, which is the. So instead of saying be ha, it's ba. So then how would Beha. you write in ba. a? Hmm? Then how would you write it in a classroom instead of in the? All you do is not have a, um, in a classroom. Mm -hmm. um, well, wait a minute. This is basically saying the. Remember we said this would be ha? Right, but instead of saying in the classroom, in a classroom. Well, we would take that off. And we have what I had a minute ago. Oh, okay. He's in class. Okay. He's in a class or he's in class. Either one is generic. Right? Okay, I get that now. Yeah, very good. Totally good. Thank you. Okay, so it should be properly, based upon what I have here, it should be ba. I do that on purpose, right? Just to make sure you're on your toes, okay? <laughs> Let's see what um, we have here as the transliteration. Uh, let me just read the, the, the thing we did, and I'll make sure that our student did correct in the Viva. We have Hamare, and Hamare says, Shalom, Talmidim. What does that mean? Hello, students. Hello, students. Hello, students. Okay. And so she puts Shalom, Talmidim in Hebrew. Talmidim. And then Talmidim say, Shalom. What does that mean? Hello. 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 Amore says, uh, Mashlum Dan. How are you How doing? How are you doing, Dan? How are you, how are you doing, Dan? How are, how's your piece today, right? Dan says, Besedr. Fine. In Fine. order. Fine. Okay, in everything's order. in order. Amore says, Meet Tan Mead. Who's the student? Who's the student? Dan says, Ani Tan Mead. I'm a student. I'm a student. Notice he didn't say hatan me, I am the student. He just said, I'm a student. Because he just want to know who in the room is a student. Who's one of the people I'm going to be teaching next. Okay? So Hamare says, Mi Hamare. Who's the teacher? Who's the teacher? Mm -hmm. Dan says, Ata Hamare. You're the teacher. You're the teacher. That trick me. You're the teacher. <laughs> Hamare says, Mi Becheder. Or excuse me, Mi Becheder. Me who's is in the room. who? Who's in the room? Dan says, "Hatamid bacheder." The students are in the class. The students, or excuse me, the student is in the class. So probably it's the classroom before everyone gets filled up, and there's a couple people in there, maybe or one person. The student is in the class. Um, okay, so then we have Hamare saying, "Mi han mi ta, uh, mi which is who's a female student. Don says. Sarah, Sarah is. Hamare says, Epo Sarah. Where is Sarah? Where is Sarah? Very good, Tomeo. Don says, Sarah Becheder. Sarah's in the classroom. Okay? So Tomeo, you get a nice, happy face on that one. Thank you. <laughs> All right, so let's uh, review. Let's see. Have uh, another lesson we can review? Let me review this one from last week from your page here. Um, okay, so we had a lesson last week with a dialogue called Only Hebrew, Rock Rock Ibrit, Only Hebrew. Okay? So in English it says, The students grow eloquent in Hebrew, all except uh, David. But David is saved by the bell. So um, we have Hamarab Cheder. What is Hamarab Cheder? The teachers in the room, okay? Hatamidim bacheder. So it says, so the story starts off, the teachers in the room and the students are in the room, okay? Hamare omer shalom. The teacher says hello, shalom, okay? Hatamidim omrim shalom el hamare. The students say hello to the teacher. So me'od. Hamare omer dan. Um, or the teacher says to Dan, uh, uh, Dan, ma'ata ro'e bacheder? What do you see in the room? 
What do you see in the room? Ani ro'e more v'talmidim omrim omer dan. I'm going to say that again. Ani ro'e more v'talmidim omer dan. See the teacher and the students uh, says, says, says Dan. Very good. So this is kind of a direct dialogue instead of having the little lead-ins like a play or a script, right? That would actually tell you teacher, student, teacher, student, all the way down. Okay, so then we have Ma'od, the teacher says, with a question mark. Ma'od. Remember, like if I say to me'od, kind of sounds like that, right? But this is a different word. Od means... It's like saying what else? What else? Ma'od. What else do you see? Ma'od. Sho'el hamore. <laughs> so says the teacher. Okay. Aniro e shulchan. I see the table. I see a table. Very good. Al hashulchan et vesefer yafe. Okay. So he says, I see a table, and on the table is a pen and a nice book. Okay, so how do we say that again? Ani ro'e shochan a shochan et besefer yafe. Okay, so notice al shochan is on the table et, there's no word for is, et besefer yafe. Et is pen, ve is and, sefer is book, yafe is beautiful or nice. So al shochan et besefer yafe. Okay, so on the table is a pen and a nice book. Okay. Tov Omer Hamore. Let me say that again. Tov Omer Hamore. Good says the teacher. Good says the teacher. Okay. We have Shlomo Ma'ataroe. Solomon. Solomon. What do you, you see? Ataroe. So. Remember, if I say aniro a, I'm saying I see. Ata more is you see. So it said shlomo ma ata ro e. The question. What do you see? Solomon, what do you see? Omer shlomo aniro e luach. I see. I see the board. A board. Yeah. Haluach el hakir. A board on the. A board on the wall. A wall. Haluach. Oh. Haluach al hakir. Not a board. The board is on the wall. Very good. You've got to be careful when you see ha, it's the, and if there's nothing there, then it's a. Okay? Right? And then we have hatalmida yafa. Or she it. Hatalmida yafa. What else did he see? He saw, he saw a, t um, a board, and he says the board's on the wall. And what else, what else is in the room? A nice, a nice girl student. A beautiful girl in this case. She's nice, but she's beautiful. She's a pretty girl. Yeah, you know when he has his eyes on, Shlomo is a, well, actually Solomon himself was a little bit. <laughs> so what did he do? So Shlomo, Amir Hamore. Good Solomon, says yes, the teacher. David, ma ata ro'e b'cheder? David, ma ata ro'e b'cheder? What do you see? David. David, David. What do you see in the room? Ma ata ro'e b'cheder? Okay. Um, and then he adds, be'anglit. Oh, no, the question. It's a question. Um, the student says, in English. In English? Show El David. Ask David. Right. Remember, instead of saying Omer says, it says Show El, which means asks. Show El David. Ask David. Lo, Rakivrit, Omer Hamore. No. Only in Hebrew. Only in, no, only in Hebrew, says the teacher. Omer David. Aniro E. Aniro E. I see, I see, because I see, I see. he's not sure what to say, right? He hasn't learned his Hebrew so well, so he's trying to buy time. <laughs> Ken, Shoel Hamore, Ma Taroe. Yes, yes. What do you yes. see? Yes, so, uh, asked the teacher. Uh, what do you see? Meaning I'm getting impatient now. <laughs> what do you see? 
אני רואה, אני רואה, אני רואה. I see, I see, I see, I see. הפעמון מצלצל. The bell rings. שלום, אומר דוד. הפעמון מצלצל. Oh, actually, it, it's not saved by the way, it just says the bell rings. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Shalom, Omer <laughs> HaMoray. <laughs> so he's like, bye teacher, because you know the bell just rang. Boy. And then it says the bell rings again, and then, so it rang twice, it rang once before he said, oh, bye, I'm, I'm out of here. So he was basically saved by the bell. Very good. 12 males. I see a slacker. All right. Let's go ahead and close in prayer. That was a good review. Um, help us make sure we understand. You guys are getting very good at hearing the Hebrew and answering back. This is good conversation. In fact, we should be practicing this with each other when we can to just conversate and be able to say hello, goodbye, how are you? And, you know, ask who's in the classroom, who's, you know, where's the teacher? Efo hamore, you know, where's the teacher? Oh, hamore um, bakita or bacheder. The, uh, the teacher's in the classroom. Maybe the teachers and the share a team. <laughs> Let's close in prayer. Abba, we thank you this morning, Lord God, for this wonderful lesson in Hebrew. We thank you that the students are learning to conversate, to hear the Hebrew language and respond back and answer. And Father, we thank you, Lord God, that we're able to say things and answer and speak uh, um, which is in Hebrew. And we thank you, Lord God, that the students are developing and learning that one day they will be able to speak in the land of Israel perfect Hebrew to share the love of Yeshua to every Jew and Gentile they come in contact with, especially to the Jewish people in the language of the Shon HaKodesh Yivrit, the holy tongue of Hebrew. In Yeshua's name we pray, Yeshua, Amen. 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 God bless you. Shabbat Shalom. May the Lord bless you and keep you And make His face to shine upon you And be gracious to you May the Lord lift up His countenance upon you May the Lord grant you His peace Yiverecha Adonai V'yishmerecha Yae Adonai P'nav elecha v'hunecha May the Lord bless you and keep you And make His face to shine upon you And be gracious to you May the Lord lift up His countenance upon you May the Lord grant you His peace Yiverecha Adonai Yisra Adonai, Benavelecha, 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 Benavelecha,